Hey guys, so do you know how can you allow only one IP to use your Node.js Express server? If not, in this tutorial, we are going to learn about that. So this question has been asked in most of a Node.js JavaScript interview. So let's check it out. How can you allow only one IP to access your Node.js server? So let's get started. Okay, so here in my Visual Studio IDE, I have opened a folder which is a Node.js project. So to convert the normal folder into a Node.js project, there is a command uh, called as npm init. So you just need to run npm init. Okay, so it will just convert a normal folder into a Node.js uh, project. Okay, so you can just run this command. And after running this command, uh, you need to uh, install two dependencies or packages. Uh, that is express for creating express server and dot env to run the environment file okay so here uh, to install those you just need to run npm install for example express so you want to install express model so express so dot env so install dot env so this will just install these packages in your node.js project so now here I have created an index.js file where we are going to create our express server. So now let me start writing the code for creating express server. So, so to create an express server, we need express. So just import express over here, require express. So from this express, we need a express class. So const app is equal to express. So this is the function. And now to create a server, uh, app.listen to a particular port so we are going to run our server at port 3000 okay and this is a callback function and i will just print server running at port 3000 over here save the file and you can just run this file by making use of node index okay so now you can see the response as server is running at port 3000 so let's check this uh, by creating a api route api dot uh, app dot get uh, in the root I will just create an API with the callback function that is request and response. So here I will just respond dot send uh, allowed access. Okay, so you can just uh, enter any message over here. Okay, so now if I save this file and I need to restart my app. So node index.js. Okay, so let me open a browser and here let me search for localhost 3000 port. So I will just hitting this API. So you can see I get a response as allowed access. So this is our get response. So now uh, I want to restrict only one IP to access our Node.js server, Express server, so that we can do it easily. So before that, let me show you what I get in this request parameter as an IP. So now here somewhere I can just print the IP from which uh, client is requesting to use our uh, server request dot ip so over here we get the ip of the client who is hitting our uh, server okay so now if i save this file and rerun it and refresh this so you can see i am getting colon with one so this two colon and one means i am hitting the server by making use of local host so let me use my mobile phone which is connected to the same wi-fi uh, where my uh, system is connected okay so let me share my mobile screen by uh, connecting through a usb okay so i have an app called as Vicer. so let me open that thing so that i can uh, share my mobile screen okay so this is my mobile screen and the chrome browser is open in that so you can see over here yeah so here uh, as you can see my code is running over here and this is my mobile device so now if I run localhost port 3000 sorry 3000 I don't think so the local host will work on my device because the device is connected through a IP address but my code is running on my laptop okay so it might not work yeah so site is not reachable okay so I need to uh, use instead of a local host i need to use the ip address of my laptop in which my node.js is running okay so let me get my ip address okay so ip config okay so my ip address is this thing okay so node index.js again here instead of uh, using local host i can make use of IP address uh, 192.168.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1
डॉट ट्वेंटी नाइन डॉट टू थर्टी नाइन या विथ पोर्ट थ्री थाउजेंड सो यू कैन सी आई गेट दिस रिस्पॉन्स सो इफ इट इज रिजिबल यू कैन सी आई एम गेटिंग माई डिवाइस आई पी ऑल्सो ऑन द स्क्रीन सो माई डिवाइस आई पी इज समथिंग ट्वेंटी नाइन पॉइंट सेवेंटी सेवन सो इट इज इन अ सेम नेटवर्क सो आई कैन जस्ट गेट दिस आई पी एड्रेस ओके सो नाउ I want to allow this mobile to use my uh, Node.js uh, code. Okay, so let me show you how. So I just showed you how can how I can get the client IP. Okay, so here I can just attach a middleware um, by using uh, app dot use. So basically, app is a um, Express server. So here I am just attaching a uh middleware in between them okay so here i just need to pass a function so i will just uh create a function over here check ip okay check ip access so here will be request response and next okay so next time basically use for, is basically used for middleware purpose so here i will just pass this check access Over here, okay. So here, uh, I can get the IP address who is hitting the server. Okay. So request uh, allowed IP. Allowed IP will be the IP address over here. Okay. So my IP address of my mobile is one nine two one six eight twenty nine point seventy seven. Okay. So only this IP should be able to access my uh, server. Right. Okay. One more sec. One more thing. Allowed IP and another thing is uh, client IP. Uh, sorry. Ah, uh, yeah. So client IP is equal to request dot id IP. So now here, if client IP is matching with allowed IP, allow the access. Else, give a response to the user that is forbidden. Request. Uh, response dot status as four zero three forbidden dot json okay or else I can just give any response like send yeah send forbidden okay so here allowed IP is something like this so okay so sometimes what happens is whenever you hit this uh, request dot IP the direct IP is not uh, been sent sometimes uh, vx uh, IP version six will come in picture and it might uh, send some parameters like uh, FFF. So let me show you by zooming this mobile screen. So you can see here I am getting uh, FFF uh, colon FFF and then the IP address of my mobile device. So this should also be to take care over here. If client IP is equal to equal to equal to three colons four F colon plus the allowed ip then we are going to uh, access this user so here we just need to pass next middleware next command okay so by doing this the next will get called okay so this is not a function this is a, a variable okay so now if i run this and in my device if i rerun this code you can see i am getting forbidden okay, i don't know why i am getting this forbidden so let me check my code so if client ip request dot ip is equal to allowed ip so this is my uh, mobile device ip so i get parameter something like this okay yeah so here i have gave two colons uh, yeah so now if i rerun this code and hit the ip again so you can see allowed ip so let me show you uh, here i can just change the ip address to 7 so now mobile device ip is uh, seven, 77 so i have just allowed this ip to access my system so now if i run this code again refresh okay so you can see i'm getting responses forbidden so that's all for this video uh, this is how you can allow only one ip to access your node.js code okay so thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol as point thank you